Morale can be one of the most important factors in Foxhole. I would argue that morale is probably one of the most realistic parts of Foxhole as well. In a real war, morale is a key resource on whether or not a side will keep fighting, and often when you break the spirits of your enemy you have already won. Low morale can also be referred to as morale exhaustion. This morale exhaustion can happen at any time with any faction. It can occur when there's a decline in enthusiasm, motivation, or just being emotionally drained due to relentless demands and pressure that Foxhole persistent war environment brings. And when wars are lasting a month or sometimes longer, we see morale exhaustion occur at least every other war for one faction. Players start to think, why even bother building this base? It's just going to be blown up anyways. Why bother pushing the front? We will just lose it again. Why gather this salvage when no one's going to use it to craft anything? And Foxhole is all about time as we've seen from the data given by Foxhole stats. If a faction's morale is low, they are more than likely going to commit less time to Foxhole, which in turn hurts their chances of winning. Players invest a lot of time into these wars. When the war isn't going their faction's way, it feels like all of their time investing into the work is just being abandoned or wasted. I know I've delivered Lodgy to a front that was lost only seconds later to a big tank push or artillery and that was very demoralizing. Foxhole can require a lot from players in terms of time and commitment depending on how involved you want to be with the game. As I've said in other videos, you can play casually, but if you want to get serious about Foxhole then it's not for the faint of heart. That being said, you can still decide for yourself if you're playing Foxhole casually or seriously. At the end of the day, you determine the level of commitment that you want to give. As someone who plays both factions fairly often, I can see when one side is starting to lose their morale. The prolonged engagements in Foxhole require most players to be constantly engaged in gathering, building, and fighting. This feeling of endless conflict can lead to a low morale when your faction continues to lose fight after fight. Experiencing repeated defeats, losing territory, or seeing hard-fought fronts undone can lead to frustration and make you feel like a failure. Not to mention the endless repetitive task of gathering resources, hammering out bases, and managing logistics networks can be monotonous and draining over time. Let's take building for example. You might feel some pain from losing the base and the resources put into it, but you'll feel worse about the amount of time you put into it. Same thing can happen with a tank. You don't necessarily feel bad about losing the tank itself, but the time it took to gather the resources to make the tank and the time it took to fill it with ammo and drive it to the front. This is normally why you see so many salty tank players on the front. They don't want to lose all that time over stupid mistakes. Remember nothing in Foxhole is free. Your time is still given up and used with anything that you choose to do. For new players, low morale can come from wanting to make meaningful contributions to the war effort. The new players may spend hours gathering crates to supply to the front to only see that forward base destroyed seconds later again by tanks or artillery. This can easily make a new player feel demoralized as well. New players normally have the mindsets or high spirits of wanting to win the game or win the war. Do you think a new player has a better experience joining the winning side for the first war or the losing side? Players tolerate defeat in different ways. Players can get low morale from failed operations or frontline pushes or because the base they built was destroyed. It's just the nature of the game. When morale is low, you can see the symptoms of it all around. Players get more frustrated and irritable at the littlest interactions within the game. They show this by blaming the clan members, random teammates on the field, or get angry at the devs with how demanding the game can be. Some players don't get angry or frustrated. They instead just type in world chat and do what we call doom posting. They feel hopeless and unmotivated, so they will continue to spam in world chat how the war is already lost and how we should all just give up. Low morale will lead these players to engage in less battles, logistics, or any kind of operation. They will also start to avoid group interactions or any kind of responsibility, and they will prefer to play solo or just focus on less demanding tasks. Eventually, they will just just withdraw from the game completely and play something more relaxing. Which I should note at this time is completely fine to do. No one in Foxhole judges you for taking breaks. We actually encourage players to take breaks if they need to. You may ask, why play a game like Foxhole if it's so demanding? And it's hard to explain, but Foxhole just scratches a specific itch that no other game can scratch. And as I've mentioned before, you can certainly play Foxhole casually, but if you want to take the game and wars more seriously like some players do, you may experience this type of morale exhaustion. I've said it many times before and I'm very honest with new players about this opinion, but Foxhole is not for everyone. We see a lot of low morale players come from these prolonged battles where little process is made. This can wear down a new player's enthusiasm and dull their sense of achievement within the game. Dealing with uncooperative teammates can also discourage and create additional levels of stress and frustration for players. In a game like Foxhole where teamwork is a key factor in being victorious, relying heavily on teamwork means that the individual morale is closely tied to the group's success and cohesion. Conflicts with the team or lack of coordination can negatively impact morale. New players aren't the only ones that deal with low morale. 
now. Vet players can feel it as well with failed operations. I know quite a few regiment leaders that bear the responsibility for strategic decisions within their group, and if their operation fails, then it can be quite taxing for those leaders. It's important to realize when you are feeling low morale. If any of these symptoms I've mentioned are things that you can relate to, then it's important that you take some time for yourself and maybe even take a break from Voxel for at least a day or two. Stepping away from the game can help recharge you and give you a healthier perspective on the game when you return. If you don't want to quit Voxel, then I would simply suggest changing roles that you play in Voxel. Switching to a different role or activity can help you avoid monotony of the game and help rekindle your interest in the game. Another solution that can help with morale exhaustion is creating scenarios of positive reinforcement. One thing I like to do in the game is celebrate small victories in world chat and with clan members. Doom posting in world chat never helps your faction. I always try to follow up with a positive morale booster if I see anyone doing any doom posting. Even if I was not part of the operation or around the battle, I try to celebrate those that did the hard work and let them know that they did a great job. Bringing positive energy to Foxhole makes the game so much more enjoyable. And just playing with a supportive clan or regiment that celebrates your wins and gives you constructive, helpful feedback can also help mitigate feelings of frustration or isolation in Foxhole. Lastly, setting personal goals for yourself can help give you a sense of purpose and achievement. This can help raise your own personal morale, which in turn helps your teammates and the broader war effort. Remember, Foxhole is just a game and you should still be having fun. With the proxy chat in Foxhole, it's easy to make new friends. It's also easy to find small groups of players that like to play at the same time as you do and like to do the same things that you do. This can be a huge game changer for your enjoyment in Foxhole. If you need any help finding a smaller big group to play with, DM me on Discord and I'll help you find them. The war is fought with more than just guns, tanks, and artillery as we've talked about. It's fought within our minds. Psychological warfare certainly exists within Foxhole. Maybe not so much inside the game, but outside of the game. I believe the Foxhole subreddit has more influence on the war than most players think. It's like a little propaganda machine where you can see the other side is doing cool things and winning battles and it boosts their morale. And when you see your faction constantly losing battles, it can be quite demoralizing. Morale is certainly fought on Reddit with various types of propaganda. I believe this community to be more resistant to low morale than people lead others to believe. Even in wars where everyone thinks the other side has given up, we are still seeing the wars last 30 plus days. To me, that is not giving up. I will remind you again that I know burnout certainly happens in Foxhole as I've talked about in another video. But at the end of the day, the important thing I think you should do is treat the game as a game. Honestly, sometimes I find losing to actually be more fun than winning. Having last stands at bases that are heavily fortified and well supplied is a lot of fun, especially when it's one of the last victory points the enemy needs. Everyone is trying their hardest on each side during these battles. Some of my favorite battles in Foxhole are ones I have actually lost. At the end of the wars, we normally start seeing each side YOLO a lot more resources such as tanks and artillery. We see more new players crewing tanks that normally wouldn't crew at the start of a war. I always tell new players a great time to join is towards the end of a war because they get more involved in operations they normally wouldn't be able to at the start of a war. You have to remember that winning still takes a lot more effort than losing. You can see that when we get down to the last few hexes or victory points. The winning team still has to have the drive and motivation and the will to finish the fight. If you are on the losing side, you have nothing to lose, so you can make a lot more riskier plays that sometimes work out. So a flaw in some players' mindset is that winning is more fun than losing. Of course, we all want to win and like to win. It is a competitive game, but being on the losing side can be just as thrilling as the winning side. Again, building those last desperate defenses, taking heroic last stands. Some Foxhole players definitely have a lot more fun winning, but I suggest embracing the fun on the losing side as well. I certainly sympathize with players that really focus on winning, because we do spend a lot of time to grind whether it's Lodgy, building, or fighting on the front, and if we invest all that time and still lose, it still hurts. And again, it's a competitive game and not for the faint of heart, but at the end of the day, there can only be one winner no matter how much effort we put in. The most important thing I learned in Foxhole is realizing how meaningless the outcome of the war is in terms of actual gameplay enjoyment. Once you learn this, you will have such a better time in the game. I personally always have fun in Foxhole winning or losing. Of course, I'm always trying to do my best to win for my faction at the end of the day, but if we lose, I always just say GG and move on to preparing for the next war. I focus on the elements of the game I enjoy the most, like logistics. Logistics is always needed, so I always have something enjoyable to do. I really love the concept of Warden Weekend. It's a built-in morale motivator for the Warden faction. Wardens get motivated on the weekend to make good plays, good pushes, and it gets everyone involved and not just the clans. I would like to see something similar for the Colonial faction that helps get them motivated. Foxhole has been out for quite a while now and we've seen the game go through multiple morale shifts. We have seen big Colonial win streaks and big Warden win streaks. Vets and new players will come and go again and again. Devs like to do balance changes with big pendulum swings so that is why we see low morale shifts often from faction to faction. I will say that new content always helps raise morale, especially if your faction's getting a new toy to play with. And I've said it many times before, but I think a longer time between wars would help raise morale as well. Have a special event in between wars to keep players interested, but a longer break between actual wars. You know what would boost my morale on the battlefield? A 
player carrying a flag item charging into the front. Devs, make an item that is a flag that we can carry for our faction and plant it in the ground. I hope that comes out this year. You should ask yourself this question. Is this game even fun when the other side isn't trying or doing their best? Overall, I believe morale to be an underappreciated factor in Foxhole. High morale means more dedicated frontline fighters, logistics, coordinated operations, builders, and even gatherers. Does not matter if it's high population war or low population war. Morale is the sheer motivation to keep playing when normal players would just switch to another game. By recognizing the signs of moral exhaustion and implementing strategies to manage it, players can sustain their engagement and enjoyment of the game over a long period of time. Remember, no one is requiring you to play the entire war. Play when it best suits your time. This will help keep your personal morale up. What do you think the biggest factor is to whether or not a faction wins a war? Do you think it's morale? Do you think it's population, skill, plans, map layout, or resources? Let me know in the comments. And since I'm warden this war, I gotta say it. 3032, let's keep putting up a good fight. War 113 has been great so far. Let's keep it going. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to subscribe for more Foxhole content. Remember to keep being positive and boost your teammates' morale when you can. Cheers.